there a lot of times people have been asking me questions like sir how do i print my designs from my phone and it has really really given me a lot of concern and that is why i am creating this video to help you i've created other videos but i'm going to try to walk you through the process again with updated information that would guide you i want to encourage you to watch this video to the very end all right for example take a look at this particular request from rafael gift he said sir please do a, do you have a tutorial how to print banners or flyers after designing on pixel app so that is what i want to address in this video from the beginning arranging your design choosing the right measurement prepare your design how you can save them properly so that you get a higher resolution at the end and then finally how you can send for prints and the instructions that should go with it that is what i want to address in this particular video the first thing i want to address is what exactly is the size for your design so number one let's talk about the right measurement for each design the right measurement for each design so let me go to pixel app now pixel app is a very very amazing I mean, it's a very, very amazing application. It is an app, but what this app can do depends on how you use it creatively. This app, you can use this app to create flyers. You can use this app to create banners design. You can use this app to create book cover design. You can use this app to create book brochures. You can use this app to create stickers. You can use this app to create, just name it. You can do it with this application, but it depends on how creative you are and how you are able to understand what to do. Now, if you are creating flyers, designs for social media, so that is why when the client comes to you, you want to ask them, sir, ma, where do you want to use the design? That's information that I'm going to give to you will guide you the size you would use. Now, most designs that are posted on social media, Facebook, Instagram, X, formerly Twitter, these designs, you can use a ratio one, one one to one to create it that is this let me show you so if i say ratio one to one this is what i mean by ratio one to one go to size look at this place where it's written ratio one to one i see that now so that ratio one to one you see there it means that it is equal in length and equal in height that is the width and the length the width and the height they are the same if i enable this you will notice that this the, this is the same and this is the same that is what ratio one to one means so if you use this design, it will work, right? For most social media design, in fact, all of them, this ratio one-to-one -one can work. For your WhatsApp status, it can work, all right? So this is very cool. Then you can also use another size. Now for Instagram post, let me show you this post, this design right here. Now for most other designs that you're going to be posting on Instagram, Facebook, another size that can work is this one right here. All right, this is not correct. This is it. It's supposed to be 1,080 for the width and then the height is 1350 this can work for your instagram post you can post it on instagram it will work even the size that was here before it can work on instagram now let me go to my instagram and show you something all right it depends on how you are able to post it. in fact any size you want to put can work on instagram but there are some very very cool size that you need to take note of so let me go to my instagram and let me click okay let me go to my page and look at some of the designs that i have here i don't have so much here please follow me on instagram so this is it this size is the same size. You can see the size here on Instagram. All right. Look at it. This side now is a ratio one to one. You can see it. It's a square. It enters and fits in very well. It also fits in on Facebook. This size is the one I just showed you. you see, it fits in very well. This side is a ratio one to one. This side is the Instagram side. You can see it fits in very well. So when you have more information, let's say the flyer has a lot of information, I would advise that you use something like this. All right. But if it is going to be printed, if the flyer is going to be printed, then you should consider um, an A5 size, all right? A size that can fit into an A5. So you just go to your, your Google, to your Google and type A5 size in pixels. Now, pixels is the smallest unit of measurements for designers, and it is cool. I would advise you use pixel when you are creating your designs. You can convert just anything at all to pixel. So for A5 size, this is it. You can see it, 1,748, then 2,000. 480 so what that means is that a design for a5 you just come over here all right you go to the inside image size and then you go to the width 1780 right then 2000 i didn't get it correctly 
okay two thousand four eighty four eighty then seventeen forty eight oh come again seventeen forty eight two thousand four eighty so this is it can you see that this size now it looks like an a4 size but this is called this size is now in portrait all right it's in portrait it's standing tall like this so this size as it is like now once you design with this size you can see it looks it also looks like that instagram size it can be printed you can send it to your document and it can be printed then you can see that i can adjust it to a landscape to adjust the landscape it simply means i should come here i should move this all right i move this here then i'll bring this here 2480 you can see that it's not on a landscape all right so when it's on a landscape like this you can go ahead and create your design with it you can see now you are creating your design with this. this is landscape so that when you want to design this one one of it can be mounted on two oh, sorry two of these can be mounted on one a4 for your printing it will come out very clean and clear so this is about sizes so what if you want to design a banner all right a banner a flex banner if you want to create a flex banner now flex banner are measured in feet flex banners are measured in feet but you don't have to put in feet on pixel lab now there's a lot of logic and calculation that goes into you creating large flex banner in pixel lab now what you need to do let me show you one of them what you need to do for example if you want to create a flex banner is to know and ask the client what is the size of the flex banner there are different sizes so be specific is it three by five is it six by eight is it ten by twelve is it eight by eight know it now if the client tells you the exact size what you now come to do, want to do is to go to your google and you type in the size let's say the client tells you that the size is eight by eight now remember that eight by eight is the same thing as ratio one to one don't forget eight by eight is the same thing as ratio one to one i told you just now that ratio one to one means that both the length look at it ratio one to one means that both the length and the breadth which is the width and the height they are the same so any how it whether it's 100 by 100 or 50 by 50 or 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 or 4 by 4 or 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 it is the same thing as ratio 1 to 1 it means that you can create the design on this canvas yes that's what it means, it means you can create a design here for any ratio 1 to 1 you can create a design here but when you want to save it all right when you want to save it you will now have to increase the, the the size here so for example if you have 128 you, you create it with this small size in pixel so that it is convenient for you to save and open all right but what you want to save it your final saving to send to your printer you will now multiply this number you are seeing here by maybe five all right so one thousand two hundred and eighty you will multiply it by five a, a very high number so that it will come out very sharp so let's go 1280 times 5 640 so it means that you can come here and you can write here 640 by 6 that is 6400 by 6400 so this 6400 by 6400 you can see that it's still ratio 1 because the width and the height they are the same so it's still the same thing so when you save your design like this you can use it to print 8 by 8 you can use it to print 16 by 16 as long as the width and the height they are the same thing if you are getting value please drop a comment for me so when you are done but for other designs that's not ratio one to one that is the width is not the same the height is not the same then you can go and get the exact size here for example there was a design i print i, I, I printed some time ago it was 40 feet by 15 feet i created it with pixel lab printed it with design it and sent with pixel and the design came out very very fine so all you have to do is to go to your google and search for the size so if it is for example three feet by five feet that one you should assure it's not ratio one to one so you know you come here with type three feet by five feet in pixel can you see that there three feet by five feet in pixel look at this this is feet to pixel converter so this website you can save it there are many of them like that so this one will, will convert feet so just type three here and then you see this is the equivalent in pixel right you now copy this one and you put it in pixel lab then you come here, you put five, you copy it, and you put it in Pixel Lab. However, without doing this exactly, there's something you can do in Pixel Lab that can also work. So anytime you hear three feet by five feet, don't bother to stretch yourself to go to the internet to do uh, the exact calculation. That one is cool. But this is another way to know your measurement. And it will work very well. Try it. Now, if you say three feet by five, you come here. Now, the width, which is the width, is going to be the, the, the three. 
which is you can put 3,000. Don't stress yourself to go and be getting the exact figure. So just put 3,000 by 5 feet, put 5,000. Just add 000. This, this is it. But it is in uh, what's called portrait. So if I go again and I change this to 5 and I change this to 3, it's going to be in landscape. This is 3 by 5. If you print it like this, design it like this, you are going to get exactly 3 by 5. I'm telling the truth. All right. Now, that is one of the ways you can get it. Now, when you are done with your measurement, I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video where you can get more videos that will explain this measurement of a thing. When you are done with your measurement, what is the next thing that you need to do after getting the measurement right that you want to design on? Whether it's a, a IV, whether it's a bedded design, whether it's um, a book cover design. So for book cover design, for example, all you need to do is to go to Google. All right. Just Google it. Like, I want to create a book cover design. Give me a size. So this is a book cover design. This is the back of the cover. Right, the back cover and this front cover usually is the same size. All right, so this is this one I'm using right here is just one of the sizes I'm using because of the mock up that I created. So you can see the width, you can see the height. There are many of them. All you have to do is go to Google and just type book cover design size, or you can add the word standard, you will see them. Right, there are many of them like that. You can see them. There are many of them like that. You will see different there are different sizes. All right, you can see them here. You can see this one says six inches by nine inches. All right, if you see it in inches, convert it to pixel because you're using Pixel Lab. I believe that is very, very clear. Now, when you are done with your design, now this is Pixel Lab. You are done with your design. Let's assume that you are done with your design. All right, and you want to save your design for printing. How do you save your design for printing so that it will come out very, very clean and sharp? Come out very, very clean and sharp. To do that, you will come over here. Now you can see that I told you this is ratio one by one and it is the same. So this design has to be ratio one by one. Remember, don't save it with this basic default size 1280. I told you to multiply it. Multiply this figure you see here by five or by four. Depends on if you want to do a very solid printing of banner, please use five. All right. But if it's going to be an ambi flyer, then you can use maybe four or three. It will come out very well. So don't multiply this figure now and change the figure. So if I multiply by five, for example, I'm going to be getting four thousand four. Sorry, six thousand four hundred here. Six thousand four hundred here. The size did not change. It's the same thing. But when you are saving it, you will see that the size is now six thousand four hundred. All you have to do is to click save to gallery. And this design, it's not going to be. If I save this one, let me show you something now. I'm saving. This is six thousand four hundred. I'm saving it now. You will see the difference. Four hundred for the width. Six thousand four hundred for the height. You will see that there's going to be a difference one is going to be larger in size and that one is going to be sharper very very clear i'm going to save another one again with the normal default size which is 1280 by 1280 and then i will show you the difference that is saved in my gallery i will show you the sharpness and i will show you the size all right what you will notice is that this one the first one took a lot of time to load and to save it has saved this one watch it won't take so much time it won't take so much time it will save because why you can see it has saved now, let's go to my gallery and let me show you. Now, this is my gallery. This is the recent design now. This is Pixel Lab. Now, this, this one I'm opening now is the first one. Sorry, it's the last one I saved. Let's check the file format. File information, rather. Oh, this thing is loading. This is fast. Okay, let's, just, let's use this route. Let's go to images. Now, look at it. The, the one I saved as a, with the basic size, that is 1,280. This is it. You can see that it is... 824 kilobyte not even up to one megabyte but look at the other one here that i saved with 6400 by 6400 you can see 9030 now you, you already know that they are not the same they're not the same quality now look at this first one here now look i would see it i zoom in and then it's no longer zooming in this is the end i can't zoom in again now that is for that one now look at this one now i can zoom in like this one i can zoom in again two i can zoom in again three are you seeing it now? You can see the difference. Can you see the difference? I can zoom in. See, I see the person's face very, very well. That is how to save your design. I believe this is very, very important to you. Now, you can see, you can zoom in and see everything. All right? So that is number one. Now, talk about is how do you send your design to the printer? Let's say you are, you are, you've, you've gone to the printer. How do you present your design? Most of the time, some person will tell you to give me my design in PDF. Give me my design in PDF. If somebody says you should give them their, your design, their design in PDF, just go to a Play Store. All right? There are many applications that can do this, but I use this a lot. So Play Store and search for the app that's called Small PDF. This application is called Small PDF. Download it. 
very very easy and straight to the point so once you open this application all right click on the plus icon here click on file or gallery so i want to click on gallery all right i'm going to select now the design that i want to convert to a pixel let me use this one that is small hmm, for the purpose of this one but if you want to do it make sure you're using the one that is very very large then you can come here and save change the name all right change the name to the name that you want the work to be saved with all right so for this purpose i'm just going to use flyer design and then you will name it when you are done just click on finish working on it click on finish and instantly your flyer will be converted to pdf you can see now if this flyer is already be converted to pdf it's no longer a jpeg click on it it will open you can see one page pdf it has it is open so how do you save it click on that three icon there all right this three icon is what i just click right here this three icon click on it and then click on save to my device all right then you select where you want the design to be saved so this is save now in, the, in download when you are done just click on save and it will be saved to your download folder all right so if i go to my phone now and i check for pdf file that one should be the recent one so let me go and show you now so if i go to you can see it's already here look at it you can see this is the design so it's, a, it's a pdf if i click on it a pdf opener is supposed to open it you can see this is the pdf right so you can send this to your to the client or you can send this to the to the printer why you're doing it so that the quality is retained or alternatively you can upload all right you can upload go to your google drive all right you can go to your google drive and upload the design the high quality design that nine megabytes the one you upload you can create a folder for your client all right you can create a folder for your client all right just create a folder for your client and then go over to the that folder right i'm giving you an example click on the plus button and upload that design all right look at them here this one is the one that is nine megabytes just upload it click on upload and then it will be uploaded then you will come here copy the link and send it to your client finish they will as soon as they click on the link they will see the design and they'll be able to download it remember when you are doing this one to always click on manage access when you click on manage access go to restricted open it and click on it like this and make sure that you allow anybody with the link to access the file so click on this once you set it like this then you are good to go you can see the file here all right so all you have to do copy the link of the folder and send to your client you are good to go or alternatively the other way you can send it to your client is to go to your alternatively the other way you can send it to your client is to go to your whatsapp now your whatsapp your client has whatsapp so why you are on whatsapp with your client all you have to do is to click on this icon here click on document and you will send the design as a document you can see it here send select and then you send it as a document like this let it make sure that it's like this so send it as a document whether it's pdf whether it's jpeg make sure it's high quality send as a document when the client downloads it the quality will not drop at all that is another way another way you can send it is to use your g your gmail and then click on compose all right hang the client for their email address so let's say client client works dot two at gmail dot com this one is not agree then add when you are done all right go to the next one which is this place here go to subjects um your design all right compose just write the message um good okay just say dear client right kindly find attach your design all right best regards me all right then you just click on this attach button here click on attach file and then select the design you want to attach all right this is it select design you want to attach once you have done that click on your send button and you are good to go very very easy i've shown you several ways to send your design to clients in high quality and how it can be printed once you send the exact size to the printer just tell the printer what you want to print whether it's a banner whether it's a flyer just tell them if the printer have sense if the printer is is, is is an expert in what it does then it should know what to do but you should, like, can also be there to guide the printer right so that it will be they will not disturb distort your work or change the quality let them print it exactly the way you have done if you do it like this you'll be okay now there's one thing i didn't mention and i want to mention right now and that is the fact that that's the fact that you need to send your design sorry you need to use high quality images for your designs use high quality images for your design so that your design will always come out clean you see i didn't go to pixel I, uh, photo show i didn't go to any website to edit this image because i already use high quality images that i've already worked on i've enhanced them i've worked on them i hope you got value from this video my name is nihi hamuda and i will see you in another tutorial do like this video share it with your friend and subscribe please tell me where you are watching from and if you got value